all you cool cats and kittens. This is a follow-up for my previous video of my tutorial. So if you want to see the start of that, link in the description. Basically, I'm making this dress. And after perfecting the pattern in the previous video a while ago, and by that, I mean four months ago, now I get to the scariest part of designing, which is making it with the final fabric. Ooh, scary. But for reals, I was shitting myself because I didn't know if I had enough fabric at the time. You know, in case I goof it up and the pandemic closed down the fabric store I got it from. So what I got is what I got. And um, it's all in God's hands now. So Jesus, take the wheel and let's begin. Let's start with um, clarifying what I'm actually making. This design isn't just based on the OC, but the OC is also inspired by this Dark Academia mini project I submitted when trying to apply for a placement that I didn't get. So here's the mood board for that. And so you'd get the vibe I'm trying to go for with this theme. And here's some of the cards I did based on the mood board. And as you can probably tell, this dress fits right in and here's the final cut oh my god <laughs> and here's the final cut which is what the dress is hopefully gonna look like and without further a waffling let's cut the prost <laughs> let's cut the prost <laughs> <laughs> Let's cut the procrastination and get into the make. To start off with, I decided to add a last minute design feature. And of course, I'm talking about pockets. Cause of course I am. Cause someone decided women don't need pockets. And I personally have a bone to pick with that guy. And I'll put an end to that little kerfuffle. One pocket at a time. So I added two hidden inseam pockets on the side of the skirt seams for for extra volume and poofiness. I also drafted the heart front pocket. So if Cupid ever decides to strike me, he knows where to aim. JK, Cupid can fuck off. It's just a design feature. <laughs> After adding the length of the skirt, I pinned her down, not in a weird way. So after pinning it all down, I just so managed to have enough for one. So as long as I don't fuck it up, I should be fine, I hope. So I also cut the interfacing for the collar and the button stand. I was intending to order white so I lucky had a breakdown when it turned out black because apparently I couldn't tell the difference between black and white when ordering. But uh, ironically, that worked in my favor because I forgot how dark the fabric was so it fitted better than white would have. So it was a happy accident, like me. So I cut 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 just like the toxic people just cut 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 them away from your life and now we put her together before we get sewing i gotta prep it all first so i fused the interlining on one of the color stand and one of the color and the button stand and well your girl fucked up the carpet <laughs> My mom's gonna kill me. So after getting a nice whooping, I went to sew for realsies. I started with the heart pocket by sewing the binding around the raw edges. Then the rest. Uh, I haven't used an overlocker in two years now and I'm still trying to get the hang of my new overlocker machine. So out of habit, I keep on forgetting to actually close the raw edges before top stitching, especially on the yoke and on the shoulders. So after realizing that, I had to painfully unpick the overlock and re-sew it all properly, which I'm not sure if I filmed 
but yeah I had to redo that bit again mm -hmm. so I then continued sewing everything else together I even made a step-by-step -step plan on how to do that in my unfinished tech pack right here Thanks to the magic of editing, that only lasted a few seconds instead of a few hours. And we're almost done! To finish, all that's left is to sew on the button stand. And then, you realize, oh no, oh no, the facing is on the wrong side, <gasps> which means if you were to fold the button stand, the raw edges would show. So, <laughs> not wanting to redo literally uh, the whole front because A, no more fabric and B, that would mean unpicking and sewing all over again and C, because fuck that shit, that's why. So, I went through the effort of peeling off the interfacing by reheating it up and tragically attempting to pull out what I can. Don't take that out of context. <laughs> I then found out later that this can easily be done quicker and cleanly if I had just wetted the f uh, the interfacing first before ironing, and that way it would have been it would have peeled off cleaner after I just ripped off half of it off. So, yeah, but that's okay because it's at at the back so no one can see that right i hope Just editing this and looking back at this fuck up makes me want to retreat back into the womb. So anyway, yeah, um, moving on. I carried on sewing on the buttons and putting on the buttonholes. Uh, yeah, that took a lot longer than I thought. P putting together all the individual buttons bit by bit by hand was not fun but got there eventually and then i put on the finishing touches so putting on the heart and putting it, and making the belt and the belt loop thingies getting there bit by bit yay <laughs> You can tell I'm tired. <laughs> but with the power of God and anime at my side, despite the odds, I managed to put her together. And yo, I had such a major bro moment when I finished because usually the twirl, well, usually for me at least, the twirl stage is as good as it's gonna get. Like you start off with the twirl and then the final fabric and then have a breakdown because it looks so shit on the final fabric. But this time, she good. She's beautiful. Even after all the goof ups, I feel like a proud mama because she looks even better on the final fabric. In all my years of making clothes, it's never turned out this good. Like, I'm not used to this. Sure, she's got some imperfections, like the interfacing still shows on the back, on the button stand, but and the color might be a tad bit too big, but to my surprise, it gives it a charming look to it. Why couldn't my previous submissions have turned out this fine? Anyway, so I tried it on, and not gonna lie, I was low-key anxious about wearing something I made in public, 
but it was a nice day. The sun was out. I I feel cute. Um, what a nice day to grow a pear. And that's what I did. And yes, I went to a buffet to celebrate. I legit felt like I was wearing something I bought and I never thought I would ever get that feeling with something I made. So yeah, that was a very proud moment for me. And that's my four months of work done in the making of this dress. And for what? A nice dress? Some garment making XP points to perhaps spe uh, specifically on what not to do. And if you happen to be a size 8 and want a little bit of this, feel free to DM me and maybe I might make another one for you. I don't know. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video as much as I stressed over making it. And yeah, come back again. Uh, like and subscribe for more. There's the door. And bye-bye.